Hey everyone, Bill here with some more TD Photoc tips. Today we're talking about what's in my gear bag. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm doing very well. I'm excited today. Uh, excited to show you this tip. Not necessarily for the tip itself, but because since I switched to more of a YouTube type format, uh, this is the first request that I've had for a tip. Uh, my request comes from Brett. He sent a message and said, I would love to see what you keep in your everyday bag as a photog. And so, uh, here we go. If you're like me, I'm sure you have more than one gear bag, uh, depending on the type of situation you have going on. But at least when it comes to news, uh, I had a bag that I would have uh, for daily things if I went into uh, location for uh, whether it's press conference or just daily use. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. I have plenty of other bags. I'm sure we'll get to them over the course of the series. But for today, we're talking about our daily gear bag. For me, uh, this is a Mountaineer Tour. This is the bag that I've used for well over a decade uh, until the zipper gave, one of the zippers gave out. But it did me very well. As I said, for it was 10 or 12 years, something like that. I really liked it and it was very durable. Uh, had plenty of pockets in this for different small things, internal pockets here. Uh, and then it had like a strap that if I wanted to, I could throw on my shoulder. Uh, but typically what I would do is instead of putting this just around my waist, I could use that as a, as a sling. And it was not too uh, heavy and as I said, this was a pretty durable brand. I don't think any stitches came out on this, it's just the zipper finally gave up one day. Here's kind of an overview of the things that are going to go into my bag. In no particular order, let's go through them. Maybe while I'll do these, I'll put them in my bag so you know I'm not crazy that I can get all this stuff in here. But to start, uh, we're gonna go with my batteries. Uh, <laughs> these are what I use now, but uh, realistically in news, we use a brick battery, which is probably the size of my uh, post-it holder. So I'm gonna throw that in there. That's gonna take up probably the most room. The next thing that I'll tell you about is I have my extra SD cards for my camera, including uh, my normal size SD cards, I'll have a one that's an adapter that I can put a mini SD card in here. Uh, whether maybe it's my GoPro has a mini SD card or some other camera or even someone wants to share video or photo that they shot with their own camera. That way I have an adapter available. In addition to that, I'll have a flash drive. Usually I try to get one uh, at least a gig or so big in case someone has a video that they want to download to share with you as well and I find uh, flash drives to be more uh, sturdy you know they're not going to break as easily as a flash drive plus they're a little bit harder to lose. I guess I'll go down the route of basic needs and say I'll have my spare batteries as well. I also keep a uh, battery tester with me uh, in case you know sometimes a bad battery just gets mixed in and it helps me identify if it's a bad battery or maybe there's a problem with like let's say my microphone. Uh, in this case, I might have double A's because my shotgun microphone takes double A's and I have nine volts because my wireless takes nine volts. I'll try to keep some lens cleaning cloths in my bag as well and some solution. If I don't want to carry a solution because I'm afraid it might leak, I also could have these. They're not wet wipes, but they're lens clean wipes. Sometimes they might leave a little flake, so I'll still use my uh, lens clean cloth to get those little flakes off, but then at least get my lens wet. In terms of audio, quite often you'll be in a situation where you can't use your wireless microphone. Uh, and so I'll have a cord. Um, I can use that, you know, anywhere, press conference, or maybe I'm at a ball game and they don't allow wireless microphones. So it's always good to have a nice backup. Speaking of audio, I will always have a hardwired lav mic available, just in case, again, I wanna use a lav mic, but I cannot use my wireless at that location. Uh, I will also have a stick mic. I don't have one on me, but I'll also keep a small stick mic in my bag as well. With my audio, I always kept a spare lav microphone in my bag as well. Same scenario uh, as anything else. Maybe the lav mic isn't working, so I can just swap that out and I can still use the lav, but I have a spare. I also have, I'd have a little box with spare windscreens and clips in it. And if you saw my tip from before about lav mic windscreens, I'll put that above. Uh, you'll know that I'll keep zip ties in my bag as well in case I need to do that little trick while I'm in the field. To continue about audio, I always use headphones when I shoot, um, but you never know if that pair is gonna get broken for some reason. Maybe you, you catch your cable on something, so it's good to have a spare pair. I like these because they're collapsible. They've been used, but they still work. Uh, you can always use uh, uh, ear pods or whatever from your phone as well. 
If you work in news, uh, you're familiar with using IFB. Quite often you might even have your own. Uh, so I had my own for uh, doing live shots. By the same time, I also would keep a spare one with extra ear pieces uh, for a reporter in case they left theirs behind, forgot it, lost theirs. Um, I was usually pretty good about having a spare one for them to use. Up next, I'll keep a roll of quarters in my bag available in case I need to pay for parking or there's actually other places that I might need some loose change for. Uh, and then I have this little container to keep it all together. Uh, that's just a container that a coworker is throwing away that I could use. Also, if you're familiar with M&M &M Minis, uh, at least historically speaking, uh, their containers were the perfect size for a roll of quarters. Next to my gear bag, I keep mini screwdrivers. I have a Phillips and a flathead just to kind of keep uh, the screws tight on my gear because as I would joke, uh, newsrooms and my gear are common that you're gonna have a few loose screws. So these only cost uh, maybe a dollar at hardware stores. Up next, let's talk power for mobile devices. I always try to have at least one charged fuel rod of some sort uh, that I can use to charge my cell phone if need be, GoPro, whatever mobile device and cables that go with it, including a, a wall charger. At the bottom of my bag, I might keep this small emergency poncho. This will cover an uh, adult person, uh, but it's only like $2 maybe uh, at like a Target, Walmart, and it lays flat. So I can just glue that at the bottom of my bag and I might even forget that I even have it there until the time comes. These don't take up a lot of space in my bag, so I just kind of hang on to them um, just in case. Uh, I have some earplugs. You just don't know when you're gonna be in a situation where it's gonna be really loud and it, we're just talking about protecting our hearing. Kind of the last thing that I'll have in my main bag is I will have this other smaller bag, which has just a collection of adapters that I've used over the years. Um, Cause a lot of times you just don't know when you're gonna need these when you go to an event or something and you have to plug into a board or whatever the case is. I'll put a description below of uh, what some of these are, but there's one or two that in particular that I wanna highlight. Of my adapter bag there's at least three here that i want to try to highlight for you uh, the first one is this is a connector that i would use if i want to plug into my cell phone and then i can convert it to uh, an xlr cable so that i can record uh, clean audio on like a video off of a phone or wherever the case is nowadays you might need this additional adapter to connect it uh, to make it to a lightning cable or you know a normal headphone jack so that's number one. The cable that I probably use the second most uh, would be this adapter where it would split an XLR cable uh, female to two male XLRs. Uh, that way, like let's say I'm on an audio board but they only have one uh, audio out, I can put this on, that way I can get a feed and then the board can get a feed or may me, maybe I'm splitting it with another photographer uh, from another station, that way we can both share and get uh, a clean audio feed. And the audio adapter that I keep in my bag that I use the most that I highly recommend you have on you is this thing. Uh, it's actually got a couple different names to it. So depending on your search parameters, um, how to write these up, <laughs> attenuator, or it's a high pass filter, but it's probably best known as a line to mic audio pad. And so what we're talking about is when it comes to audio feeds, that might come out at line or mic level if you had a hook into an audio board or an audio feed. And sometimes you can switch between the two, but you want to be on mic level. A lot of times you don't have that option to switch and it comes out at line level only. So you need this or uh, some sort of setting in your camera to knock it down from line level to mic level. And so it's very useful to have this in because all you need to do is plug it in and it'll knock it down so your audio is not over modulated. There you go. That's what I have in my normal uh, side bag, gear bag, daily bag, hip bag, whatever you want to call it, uh, <laughs> your preference. But I got all I need uh, right here, just in case kind of a thing. A lot of times in news, it's just better to have and not need than need and not have. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's nice to have all this here and this. Uh, 20 pound uh, side bag. I won't carry this everywhere I go. It just depends on the type of situation, but um, It's a start right there uh, a lot of useful things there uh, I want to thank Brett for the suggestion if you have a suggestion or something you want to see me do a video on Please leave a comment below. You can also message me on Twitter um, For now, I am Bill. You've been watching TV photo tips Please do me a favor like share and subscribe so I know you're out there and I will see you next time. Good luck and have fun
be for you. I and if you see my other video about you also know that I keep love oh, shoot um, so 